Hello everybody, welcome to video number two in our pigeon genetics video series. Last video, video number one, we talked about base color, brown, blue, and ash red in that order of dominance. And just like all pigeons have a base color, whether regardless of what you see on the pigeon, what color you see, there is a base color under it that is hiding, if it's not just that alone. And just like base color, each pigeon has a pattern as well, even this little yellow bird. We didn't, well we did breed her, however we don't know what she is underneath. She could be an ash red, she could be a blue, she could be a brown. She's actually just getting bred now, so we'll uh, start figuring some things out between her and Samson, who we also don't know much about him. Now we do know he's a blue because he's black. We'll get into that in another video. But each pigeon has a base color and a base pattern. So though you see no pattern on her, she is something underneath. Could be a check, T pattern, bar. So in order of dominance, the patterns are barless, bar, check, and T pattern. Lots of people call it T check. I find that confusing since we already have check, so I just call it T pattern. But it's barless, bar, check, and T pattern. T pattern being the most dominant, barless being the least dominant. Um, barless. I've never seen a barless tippler. Um, you see it around with homers and stuff. Lots of other breeds have it. It's not, it's not too unpopular. It is kind of foreign to us. Um, but yeah, and just like the base color, things are inherited the same way. A, a more, a least dominant can never produce a more dominant feature. So, for instance, two bar pattern birds can never produce a T pattern. They can never produce a check. However, two checks or two T patterns can produce a bar. And just like, just like the base color, they all have two slots. They have two spots within their genes to carry a pattern. So you could have, say, a T pattern that carries blue. That is to say, a heterozygous T pattern, heterozygous blue. It just means one, one gene a T pattern, one gene a bar. Did I say blue last time? You know what I mean. Now, unlike the ash red that carries blue and it, it shows us visually by doing little black flecks, you don't know this with pattern. You don't know this until you breed it. So if you breed, if you breed two T patterns, two T patterns and you get a bar, that means each one of the T patterns carries bar as their second pattern gene. Two, two barless birds will only produce bars. Two blues can produce barless if they both carry that gene. And same going up. Two checks can produce two bars. Two checks cannot produce T patterns though, because T pattern is more dominant than everything else. But yeah, that's basically it. And let me mention how we talked about with the color pat with the colors in video number one that they are being sex linked. That's not patterns aren't sex linked. So the cocks and hens inherit these the same. The hens carry two genes for this just like the cocks do. So just remember that when you go on with it. It's, it's, they're totally on even playing around here. So, yeah, the cocks carry two genes, the hens carry two genes for the pattern. For base color, the hens carry one, the cocks carry two. And thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next week, and we will get into basic modifying.